Hello, everybody. I am joined by Chris Mormon, who has had a very busy last couple of months, but I would say that's just generally your life. Last year, you're just writing a book really quick, traveling the circuit. This year, shout out to Sasha. He's missing Sasha's wedding to be here because yeah. he's all about that poker life. Now, you were just in Vegas for 888 had a week, which was on Poker Go. There was a really interesting kind of competition going on with two qualifiers. For those of us who missed it, give us, give us a little taste what went down. Um, yeah, it was really fun. Uh, I think it was seven-handed, uh, 10K buy-in, but the qualifiers qualify for $1. Yes. And they, My price um, range. Yeah, and they hadn't been to Vegas before. One of them had never played live poker before, so yeah, it was like his dream come true. And uh, he actually ended up knocking me out early on. And uh, he actually got really unlucky, he lost with aces twice, had them cracked. And oh. I met him the day before, we'd hung out, played top golf, I well, went to top golf, like hung out all day. And I was never rooting for someone more than him, even though he knocked me out. And so it's pretty harsh that he bubbled just because like, it would have been amazing for him to even just cash, come second for 20k or win it for 50. Yes, who won it? Um, Elia Lesra crushed it actually. He got first in one and he got second in the other. And Maria really, Hull couldn't you just take one for the team? Yeah, I know. He gave him an un unintentional needle as well, because he like when he busted him, he was like, oh, at least you'll be back tomorrow. He didn't realize that there was two different qualifiers. <laughs> at least you have another chance tomorrow, he said. Oh my gosh, worst <laughs> ever. Well, I know some other kind of little sweet icing on the cake was that actually um, one of the qualifiers, you were sort of his hero, and you guys invited him over. He was like partying at your house. What is, for those of us who are never going to have this experience, what is it like when you get to be someone's hero, and then you also just get to chill and party with them and show them what a down-to-earth guy you are? Um, yeah, it's really cool. Like, you just don't want to disappoint them, you know? So, like, I was... Uh, I'm super late. Yeah, exactly. I was, like, showing him shuffleboard. He never played that before. So, no, I just had a really good time. And um, I think even though he didn't cash in the tournament, he, like, went home and had a good experience. And he actually almost qualified for the, for the promotion here. I saw he final tabled, but he came fifth, and there was only one winner this time. Poker. Isn't it just like poker? He, like, at least he didn't quit poker after this experience, so yeah. that's a good thing. He's still in the game. All right, well, just finally, I was just briefly scrolling through your Twitter, and um, it looked like you had some kind of a flesh wound recently, I want to say in the Caribbean, blaming it on Simon Deadman. I'm not sure. Shout out to you, Simon. Like, what, yeah. what happened there? Um, it was day one, so we actually had a day off before the 25K, so we all went outside, had a few drinks, just uh, found a football randomly in this like grass patch area. So obviously the Brits just start playing football. Super dangerous. And yeah, like Simon Debman chucks me a mini football, and he's like maybe five meters away, so I have two seconds to react. I've got sunglasses on, been drinking, so I was just like, he goes on the volley, so I tried to hit it as hard as I could, and it turns out it wasn't a football, it was like a bocce ball, so it was rock solid and almost broke my foot. <laughs> And I'm still limping around since. So. But the, the bad thing was, like, if it was like Ludo or Feraldo, like, I'm never going to hit it because I know they're bluffing. But I, Simon Deadman, I thought, pretty serious guy. He wouldn't yeah. do that to me. No, he would never do that. Yeah, exactly. But I, Actually, I had some drinks with him in the Caribbean. And I have to say, he's definitely not what you think, right? Exactly, he's, yeah. he's all Simon Deadman-y, but actually, he's down to party. <laughs> all right? Well, I appreciate it. I know you got to take a little bit of time on your break. Chris Mormon, I'm Sarah Herring. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to PokerNews.com.